Hello. Uh, today I'm here to tell you about uh, how to get started with uh, Open Text uh, Developer Cloud. But first of all, uh, let me introduce myself. I am in pre-sales. I'm in. I'm a principal value engineer uh, for Open Text in France. My name is Sebastian Vincent. Uh, it is not going to be very difficult, really. The idea is to get you started step by step, make sure you, you, you can start and then it will open a lot of possibilities. So we are going to start by connecting to the website, then we will register to, for a trial. We will register an application, we will create credential and we will make a first few REST calls to the OT uh, uh, dev site uh, microservices. Next slide. So first of all, how to get access to the Open Text Developer side? That's quite easy. You need to browse to uh, that address, developer.opentext.com, and you will get that kind of screen. And at the top uh, right corner, you will have a sign up button that you can press to uh, get full access to this uh, developer website. When you click that button, then you get the ability to register for an account. And you get that kind of screen in which you can provide your email, your password. Here it's a dummy uh, email and password that I use for demo purpose. But of course, we want your real uh, email so that we can keep you updated, so that we can communicate with you. Uh, you will be asked to provide more information about your company, uh, your activity, etc. This is also something we would like you to complete properly so that we can help you the best, the best in the best possible way. Uh, then you can validate that after agreeing to the, uh, to the, to the conditions and then you can uh, you get a screen that shows you uh, that you your registration was taken into account and you are asked to check your mail so you can go to your email and you will get that kind of an email and in the middle you have a link uh, named con confirm registration uh, that you can click and it will uh, send you back to uh, our website to confirm your registration. And then you get that sort of message saying that your account was verified successfully. And then you can sign in. That takes us to the next step, which is to register for a free trial. So when you have your login and password, you can sign in in the developer.opentext.com website and it will take you to that other screen with a new uh, menu, welcome, uh, that gives you instruction on how to get started. And if you scroll down, you will get uh, this section about how to register for a free trial. You need to check a few boxes or not, uh, and then you can press try now. And if you do so, you get this message which is not the most friendly message on earth, but it gives you confirmation that you are registered and it gives you the OT2 service password, which is going to be very important for you to be able to uh, call the OT2 API. It's going to be used in every call. And then you can press got it to uh, signify to agree. And then you can register a new application and retrieve credentials. So again, back to the uh, uh, developer.opentext.com. Uh, now that you are registered, etc., you get this additional menu called console, and this is where you can create, edit uh, OT2 application. So you can press that button, create Procode app, and you get sent through a wizard in which you can type uh, various settings for your application name, description, etc. Tenant, well, data center, this is currently only one location. And then you get very important information 
that will be used for uh, calling REST services uh, later. So you get uh, uh, a tenant ID, uh, a key, etc. Those things would be needed later. Uh, you need to keep, make a, keep them safely. Once you do that, uh, you get your application visible in the console. Uh, an interesting thing to know is this, uh, in case you have lost or forgotten to write down the secret that was given to you earlier, you can uh, use this little information button at the top right of this screen to uh, either reset or uh, regenerate a new um, password. Next step, you can edit your application and uh, you have actually two tabs. One is called My App and here it doesn't show much, but it, if you have had already used it, you would see uh, your statistics uh, about which APIs were called, etc., etc. You There's another tab called Available OT Services and this is where you see what services are available that you can use. You can get access directly to the API documentation and in the case of the workflow API, you can get to uh, an editor that it will let you edit uh, workflows. We won't use all these things for now. We will keep things simple. Uh, we will try to make a call, a few calls, simple to the API. So uh, this is our ne next chapter. Of course, before doing anything, it's good to have a look at the documentation. So you can go to the resource tab on the same website. And if you search, uh, you will find uh, information related to OT2, uh, how to, to access and how to create your application, a bit what we were doing already. And it will also give you information about how to authenticate. So the idea is that you need to uh, provide a certain number of information called uh, the, the, uh, the authentication API and you get then a token that you will use in further calls. So that's what we're gonna see here. Here you get an ID, an example. It's in curl, but uh, it's just an, an, a way to call the API. So you have the, the kind of the URL that is being called. You have the body of the request. It's a post request. And you see that you have to pass in your the information that you got earlier. And then uh, it shows you how it looks in uh, as a curl call. And it explains you that when you get back the result of this call, it will contain a token. And you can use that token uh, to, for other calls. So you will add a, a, an, a header called authorization and add bearer space to the token you were given. Uh, and then you can use uh, this documentation. So here we are in Postman, a very well known tool to uh, play with APIs and test APIs. So here I've created a little collection called uh, for the dev cloud and just two um, and just two calls two, um, two two calls one is a post call to the get to to get a token and then I will use another call to use that token and get back information from OT2. So here example call Let's have a look more in detail. So it's, it's a post call. You see the URL uh, that uh, refers to the authentication uh, uh, service. You see that the body of the email contains the right information uh, that was given to you earlier. And then we have a little bit of uh, script because this is something we can do in Postman to uh, run a little script to extract some information from the output. So here we're gonna uh, read the output and read the token node and put that the, this, this information into a variable so that we can reuse it in the next calls. 
And this is how it looks in curl. That's a, that's a nice feature also of of uh, Postman. You can view how to turn your how to convert your query your request into uh, various languages, and then you get the result. And here you see it worked fine. You have a 200 uh, code uh, return code, and you get back um a json that has a, an access token and then you can extract the, this is the token that we are going to use in, in the following calls uh, and since we had this script it's been stored automatically in a variable um, that was just to authenticate now we are uh, really going to use the api because we have a token and we are going to to use a very simple uh, call it's just a call to get the namespaces uh it's in this case it's a get call and uh, we are uh, calling a different service uh, url to uh, from the cms uh, microservice to get the namespaces we provide uh, the token that we had earlier um and we pass it as an authorization header and this is how it looks in curl and this is what it returns so nothing extraordinary just the, the list of the namespace that are defined in the system but we've done uh the, we've, we've really started because we've we've been able to um authenticate and then call the API using our own credential that uh, for our own application. So that's the start and uh, you will have other sessions that will give you much more uh, if you want to move on from that. Uh, and, 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 and the rest is up to you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, don't hesitate to contact us for more information.